as I come in, I just got to show this off right here. Uh, this was given to me a couple of, a few years ago. Poof, long time now, actually, maybe about eight years ago. This, These are my five kids, and they were all, they all wrote, um, first word that came to their mind when they saw me, or, you know, when they thought about me, and, um, my little guy right there, he's eight years old now, I think he might have been one, and he said, uh, baseball, that was it, so, that was, uh, that was pretty cool, here, we have one of my favorite podcasts, uh, I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast. Poster signed by Michael Rappaport and G. Moody. Uh, I've actually gotten to know him. G. Moody, that is. Uh, he does his own thing now. He's been on my podcast a couple times. Hung out with him. He's a really, really cool dude. And this, don't mind the mess, this is the baseball room. So we're going to start right here. All right, there we go. Zoom out a little bit. So here I have my tickets from the 2015 World Series, which kind of sucked because I'm a Mets fan. But uh, it was cool because I was at Game 5, and I got to see, as a baseball fan, I got to see a team actually win the World Series when the Royals defeated the Mets in game five. Uh, more on that later. This is from when I took uh, my oldest son to the 2013 All-Star Game Fan Fest. I didn't get to go to the All-Star Game. I got to go to the Home Run Derby, though. And this is a replica ticket signed by Sid Fernandez and Howard Johnson. Uh, one of my favorite players and was my son's favorite player as a kid. Mike Piazza, we got that in Cooperstown, um, when my son, uh, as a varsity high school baseball player, got to play up there, this uh, is just a frame card that we got, it's really hard to see, I don't know if you guys can see it, because it's blue on blue, but it says, number of retirement, July 30th, uh, 2016, they gave these out at the game, we went to, we got to go, uh, up here, this is my second the second tv in here it's an old tv but i use usually i'm watching like multiple games or something um this little cabinet right here don't mind these these are the one thing they still have to do is son's toys right there but this this doesn't have any baseball cards in it yet um right now it's just like storage for old pictures but this was actually a, a TV cabinet. You know, TV came out of there, stuff like that. Uh, my grandfather made it from scratch by hand. So uh, it's been in my family for a while. I'm thinking of turning it into a baseball card cabinet. I don't know how I'm going to do it, and I don't want to ruin it. So we'll see. Uh, this right here, <clears throat> nice little painting. My daughter Ashley painted in 2015 uh Mike Piazza plaque Sam Adams just some stuff back there got this uh at City Field which was filled with like some delicious sugar cookies actually um cost an arm and a leg though this right here is a painting of Willie Mays that I painted in 2015 I don't get to paint as much as I would like but um over here is just a a little Target uh, shelf thing I got here. And, uh, you know, holds just some cards I'm sorting at the time. I, you know, just picked up a bunch of old factory sets for like $5 a piece. My book I wrote. Uh, Andrew Luck signed baseball, Manny Moda, bobblehead. Um, that got at Dodger Stadium, and my, my brother, me, my cousin Frank, my dad, my 
Uncle Frank, who's no longer with us. So that's a really fun picture I keep in here. This is pretty cool. This was uh, given to my son, Anthony, who played varsity baseball. And he was uh, like a utility guy. So he's a backup for pretty much everybody, including uh, the pitching staff and the catchers, because he played everywhere. And he was just uh, uh, really... Didn't really get into too many games his first year. And this, we went up to Cooperstown on a trip. You know, high school plays up there uh, once every other year, I believe. And he got his first varsity hit up there. He got in a game and uh, hit a bases loaded double. Uh, won the game against uh, Bethlehem Catholic. He was in the paper, so I was pretty proud of that. Just a picture I printed out. I'm actually, it's just sitting there. I had it up on my wall, but I'm actually going to put something else here. Um, this is just a baseball. I actually, um, this is a baseball from, from a game that I played in an adult league that uh, I hadn't played baseball in about 20 years. And all the... Um, all the writing on it is worn off, so you can't see it anymore. But it's it was inscribed because there was a game where uh, my son, when he turned 18, it was my last year playing, and he played in the men's league with me. And we uh, accounted for two, uh, two runs each in the final inning to win the game. Uh, we, you know, we drove in four runs together. We were down uh, uh, like 4-1 or 3-1, and we won the game. Uh, autograph picture of Hank Aaron. Um, now, this wall is really cool here. First, I want to show this. This was my pass to my first uh, ever national this summer. And uh, ended up with a Kobe card on it. It's pretty cool. Uh, over here is all um, <clears throat> ballparks visited. I almost have been to every ballpark. Um, so I have 16 out of the 30, except, um, I haven't, I haven't been here. I have been to Cincinnati, but it was three rivers or synergy or whatever they called it at the time. And I don't have any pictures of it. And another weird one up here, Fenway Park. I've been to Fenway Park like three different times and I don't ha have any pictures of it, but there's some cool ones. Uh, my kid brother and sister here. Me and my oldest son here. This is uh, one of my favorites. My dad grew up in the Bronx as a Yankee fan. And this is me, my oldest son, my youngest son, my kid brother, and my dad all at uh, Old Timers Day. This is uh, Home Run Derby City Field, sitting in left field with, with my guy. This is uh, my three older kids. These two are twins. And she's uh, two years older. This was the first game I had them very young. And this is the first game that I ever took all three of them to. And it was, uh, it wasn't Citizens Bank Park. It was um, the vet. Because I li used to live outside of Philadelphia. And you can see there's a crane in the background actually building the new stadium. Uh, oh, Marlins Park. Um, this is pretty cool right here. Because uh, front row, dugout. I actually was in Miami when the Mets got Cespedes. So I believe this is the first game Cespedes played with the Mets. He hit like three doubles, had an awesome game. And Jose Urania threw me a baseball that my son jumped in front of and caught it. But he did it on purpose because his very first game as a kid at five years old, Carlos Zambrano threw him a ball and I had to catch it for him. So he caught this one for me and then gave it to me. I had never gotten a ball. It was my first baseball. Uh, this is not Sun Trust. It is Turner Field. But I kept put this picture in here because in the parking lot of Turner Field, there is actually, or there was, I should say, the fence and the marking of where Aaron hit his 715th. So I got to take a picture there, which is pretty amazing. Um, here in the corner. Sorry for the glare, by the way. It is Petco Park and Chase Field, which is really cool. They're together because my brother went to Arizona State University. Now, I am uh, 14 years older than my brother. So, 
when I was obviously older than a college age kid. I went to visit him. We took a road trip to San Diego and I went to a Diamondbacks game. And the significance of this photo with this uh, stupid apple is that uh, when I went to FanFest that same year, it was 2013, and uh, my son and I were going all over New York trying to take a picture with all of these apples of different teams. They were scattered all throughout New York City. Uh, one was in Grand Central Station. There were a couple at the Javits Center, stuff like that. This is one of the ones I could not find. So after uh, I couldn't find it, I ended up in Arizona and they had brought all the ones uh, each team had one and they brought them back to the stadiums. So there it was. And I was like, oh, shit, I got to take a picture with this. Um, so Dodger Stadium, AT&T Park, which is uh, probably the best park I've been to. Um, what do we got here? Wrigley Field and Guaranteed Rate Field. So this was this year uh, at the National. This The last day of the National, I went to the White Sox game. Perfect picture. And this, the day I got into Sandy, um, I'm sorry, the day I got into Chicago for the National, the Mets were actually playing against the White Sox. So I got to go here, see the Mets. My, that's my little guy and a thing that says his first White Sox game. So it was pretty cool. Um, this corner right here is these are, this is a the ball I got signed at Fan Fest. A couple pictures of my son and I with different players. Uh, this is uh, the ball that I caught at the game. And this is the ball that my son caught at his game. Right here around my printer, these are more pictures of at, that I took at baseball games or events. That's the second to last day of Shea Stadium. Santana pitched a complete game, one hit or two hit shutout against the Marlins. Of course, the Mets would blow it the next day. Uh, my son with Ricky Henderson at Fan Fest. This is really cool right here. Uh, up close picture I took of Mike Trout warming up, home run derby. Here's, a, here's another one. It's kind of sad. That game of the, when I got the ball. Uh, Jose Fernandez in the dugout. And uh, we were like right there. This is game five of the 2015 World Series where the Royals are celebrating beating the Mets. Still haven't forgiven Lucas Duda. Um, which Matt Harvey pitched an awesome game. It was like the last good game Matt Harvey ever pitched. Uh, David Wright and Justin Verlander. Hanging out before uh, Home Run Derby. Uh, me and my son. Um, 2015 World Series. And here's another one at that game. Ichiro. At that Marlins game. All time great. Pretty, uh, I was pretty excited to see him. Uh, I'm a huge Mets fan in case you didn't couldn't realize by now. So this right here is one of the greatest moments that I've ever witnessed and that is when the Mets won the 86 World Series and this is a war a print of a watercolor painting by and I may be butchering his name Joe Petruccio um he does uh called Art That Rocks and he does a lot of baseball sports mostly Mets a lot of uh Elvis and pop culture stuff all in watercolor he's really amazing Gary Carter and Jesse Orozco um, over here, this is just my little desk, got my PlayStation computer, tripod, come over here now, don't mind the stains on the carpet, that's the next thing I have to replace. Um, this is my wall of Mets autographs, so, as you can see, I have the Mets banner up there, this right here is a um, autographed team ball. And I bought this years ago. Those are two Mets glasses, maps of City Field next to it. I bought this years ago before eBay, really. And um, so it was, I had been looking for a 86 team ball and the closest I could come is I found an 87 team ball. So I bought it, uh, mostly the same people. No Ray Knight though. Um, Sid Fernandez, Edgardo Alfonso, these are just all like best players that I really liked. Keith Hernandez, Ed Charles, who a lot of people don't know, he uh third baseman for the 69 Mets. 
he was actually the uh, got first uh, Mr. Met. They used to just throw a baseball head on him and have him dance around. Johan Santana, who I love, only met no hitter. Uh, that's Cleon Jones, and he inscribed at 69 World Series last out. Lenny Dykstra, um, who's kind of a douche, but, you know, as a kid, I liked him. But I don't know if you follow him on Twitter. If you're on Twitter and you don't follow Lenny Dykstra, you're missing, like, a train wreck as it happens, especially when he starts beefing with O.J. Simpson. Yeah, I said that's true. Uh, Ed Cranepool, Dr. K, Andy Chavez making a catch in the 2006 uh, NLCS. Ray Knight, 86 World Series MVP. And over here, got my little couch, so I'm a little further away here. Uh, Kevin Elster, um, Gary Sheffield hitting his 500th home run, inscribed 500th home run. David Cohn, Daryl Strawberry, Frank Viola. Ron Swoboda in the 69 World Series inscribed the catch. This one is, I'm going to get a little closer for this one, because this one is really cool, but it's kind of, I got a great deal on it, because the autograph is a little smudged, but it's Beckett certified, it's Mike Piazza, and just uh, sliding in, uh, <clears throat> tagging out Chipper Jones at the plate, and if you know about the Mets and Braves, you know that Chipper Jones is a mortal enemy. Uh, Ron Swoboda again, Howard Johnson, oops, wrong way. David Wright, and Gary Carter, my favorite Met of all time. Well, these are the Mets. Um, over here, underneath, I have this little table on the back of this couch. More Mets stuff. Um, so the two ends of this table here is are the 86 Mets. This is... Game 6, 86, signed by Bill Buckner and Mookie Wilson, and dated. And on the other side of this is, this is really cool, Jesse Orozco, when he threw his, got the, threw his glove up, signed, and inscribed Game 7, Final Out, 86 World Series. Uh, 300 great cards over here, Piazza Bobblehead, some baseball books, um, these baseball bookends I made myself. Well, Jose Reyes. Um, this was given to me by my cousin. And it is a cigar box. Pretty cool. Commemorating Gary Sheffield 500 home run. He came out with his own cigar. Gary Sheffield's 500th home, 500 home run club cigars. Here's the inside of the box. And uh, he signed it. I kind of wish he had signed it inside and I could leave it like this because I think that that's really nice looking. I miss the black jerseys signed up there. So that's, that's a pretty neat collectible, uh, you know, for a Mets fan. Only Met to hit his 500th home run. Here is... Um, I, I love uh, National League New York baseball. So here is two pennants, the uh, New York Giants, the Polo Grounds, Brooklyn Dodgers. That uh, is uh, Johnny Mize autographed uh, Hall of Fame plaque card. Carl Erskine autographed photo, who I believe is still alive. And he played with like Jackie Robinson and stuff. This I got at the National last year for five bucks. Uh, Bobby Thompson, Ralph Branca signed photo. And it's just awesome. Like, I love this one because it's, you see the Dodgers all dejected and the Giants celebrating. It's just a great uh, photo. So I'm going to get to this wall in a second. But before I do that, I want to show you that sometimes you guys see this in my videos. And this is my uh, coffee table down here. Mind this. And I made it out of all um, junk wax baseball cards. Don't worry, that's a reprint at 70 Carlton. But these are all cards 
that I had, um, which really got me back into collecting, that I had uh, in um, 99, Rivera, that I had in my cards that I, I had collected as a kid. Uh, I got, I was going through my old cards and um, a couple of them I bought, a couple of the later ones I bought in packs, like, and I just never did anything like this uh, Topps Archives, Reggie Jackson. Um, but for the most part, all of these cards are all cards that I had um, from when I was a kid. So it it came out really nice. I I uh, I bought an old. I bought a um, really really cheap uh, table from Walmart. I think like fifteen to twenty bucks. I I use Mod Podge and I put all the cards down together and then I, I trim the sides and I put this this is just a little little uh corner bead wood that I got at Home Depot. Uh I put that around, I painted it and then the top here is nice and smooth. It's it's bar lacquer. That was actually the bar lacquer turned out to be the most expensive part of the project. But you can tell like a lot of these cards, I don't know if you can really see, they're not in great shape. I had them as a kid. I've fumbled through them a million times but it turned out to be really nice and uh, i'm really happy with it this actually might be one of my favorite cards of all time that mike greenwell just think it's awesome awesome looking card all right uh so let's go Ugh, that stain that stain is glue that my now 23 year old daughter spilled uh down here let's see Oop. turn around You'll see that one in a minute. Uh, let's see. Here we have more pictures. This is up here. Uh, me and Chris Russo. You know. There's a lot of different pictures. I forget where all these are taken. Um, that, just a print I, I made, had made from uh, Perez Steel portrait these are just don't mind the paint job i gotta touch it up i know i painted it over summer these are just uh classic cards that i printed out and i just put in frames to make like kind of a of a border up here because it it was uh i don't know it was kind of like a, right above my tv you see um right above my TV here. And it just, I don't know, it was like a TV 65 inches. Um, it needed something up there, but I, I didn't know what, and it could it wasn't like enough room for a shelf or anything. Now below here, I'm working on something, some type of cabinet for my cards. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but. So now we're gonna go to my card wall of fame uh this was just a plain wall i i made built these picture ledges myself and i turned this into now i don't have i have a lot of cards from when i was a kid and i grew up in the 80s you know 70s 80s early 90s so they're not worth much these are slabs and autographs i have a modest collection so these are just some of my favorites and you know you can see there's some good ones uh, like uh like here like these three cards right here i mean they're not anything special but those were really really important cards uh to me as a kid you know they were huge in the 80s you know and i i finally had them a couple piazza rookies couple mantles 53 bowman usual one of my favorite cards of all time got that for christmas uh, you know some stuff this is really cool i pulled out of a pack years ago bought one pack of heritage and it's a rod mickey mantle um you know over here are just some of uh <clears throat> some hall of famer autographs i collect i have these uh here this one is one of my favorites it's hard to see his autograph but it's uh larry doby 
Um, Reggie, Ricky Henderson, Don Mattingly, Lee Smith, Robin Roberts. And then over here, I have some of my, some other ones. Like, uh, let's go up here, step on this couch for a while. You know, 57 uh, Mays last year in New York. Some newer cards, Griffey Rookie, uh, that's it, 52 Tops, Enos Slaughter. You know, some, some cool cards. It's not anything super rare. Here are some more autographs. I got this Wade Boggs autograph for five bucks on an eBay auction. Uh, down here are some of my favorites, though. This Mantle, Ted Williams. Got this graded as a Griffey. You know, Duke Snyder, Monty Irvin, who Monty Irvin uh, grew up in New Jersey, in Orange, New Jersey, where I spent the first uh, 12 years or so of my life. And uh, that's really it. It's a great room. Uh, most of my cards are in, are in storage in my garage, except for, like, my newer cards and are in a couple, couple of... Uh, these little things, these cases right here. You know, I, uh, just more slabs and stuff. Um, you know, I, I'd say that I have, uh, two collections, really the collection that I had as a kid, which is not worth much of anything and not in great shape, but I love them. And my new collection, which I've been building, which is mostly slabs and autographs and stuff. But so that's it. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, thanks again for watching, everybody.